This game is rated E for everyone. For more information, please go to ESRB.org. Hello everyone, Nate here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White version 2. On the last episode, we faced off with the leader of Team Plasma, who turned out to be the scientist Colores. Or at least that's what everyone wanted us to believe, but it was actually Gestus in the shadows because Gestus is a big butt. We are now here, cut off by the Shadow Triad from getting to Gestus and whatever the heck he's planning on doing, so we're gonna have to probably fight them. But first, let's check our Pokémon. Uh, everyone's up full fighting fit, so let's just get going! Hello, Shadow Triad member. Can I? I, I don't know, can I? We sort of be loyal to Lord Gestus since he saved us. Okay, I guess I already fought one of them last time. Sorry. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. All right, Team Plasma Shadow. What one of them? A Ponyard. Okay, interesting start. All right, we have Vivi in front. Um, can we go straight for using uh Defiance? Oh, okay. Fine. Let's see what Bulldoze does. Ah, it's good! Buh bye bye Alright, another Ponyard. We will switch. Tora, get on out here. Show them who's boss. If they, all, if they only have Ponyards, I'm like, okay, that's funny, but also... Silly. <laughs> like God's got God's got more than just that. We do a nice slime charge here. And this guy goes bye-bye. And Taurus Speed Rose, so that's good as well. Okay, a Banet. Oh, okay, so that is a ghost type. Vivi definitely needs the experience, so we'll go back to Vivi. Or is Banette Dark Ghost? Dark Ghost, I think, is a bit rare, but uh, I never know for sure. I'm gonna assume it's pure ghost. So we're just gonna do a nice crunch here. Yeah, okay, it was just it was just ghost. Maybe it was another typing as well, but. Mainly it was ghosts, and it wasn't also dark. <laughs> shush, shush, shush! This matters a bit if we have decided to use another Pokemon after... I, I can never read those things that fast. I wish this, uh, the text did not skip there. Listen well. The only thing we want is the world the Lord Gestus desires. Okay. What kind of world is that? Hugh, you okay? This situation is messing with my head. I... Just don't know what to do. I finally found my sister's Pokemon, but now it's glaring at me. Why? Yeah, so this is the Purloin that was stolen five years ago, and it was evolved into a Lipard, and someone else is using it, and that's no fun. Anyways, you're in the way. I have no problem with you, but this is for Lord Gestus. Okay. Have you considered? He's a Big jerk. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna guess you have two Ponyards and then something else. Maybe another Banette? I don't know. Anyways. We'll get those off easily. Okay, I just gonna have the Defiant thing. That's fine. We'll just do a Bulldoze. No problem with a Bye bye and then let's see. Oh, Excelibor. Okay. That's interesting, because that is Bug Ghost, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know what uh, the best uh, strategy for that type of thing would be. Uh, let's have Anil get some experience and see how that goes. I do like the design of Excelibor. It, it, looks, it looks pretty neat. Um, how about we just do a Discharge? Bug Buzz, yeah, let's see. It's a good thing I did not have uh, Vivi still out. And... Let's 
pretty good damage, honestly, so do it again. And hope that it doesn't get a critical hit. It did not. Yay! Okay. So then it's going to add another Ponyard. Yep, we'll switch. And we're just going to go straight back to Tor. Or, no, not, not Tor, sorry. Vivi, so Vivi can get to level 50, hopefully. I'm trying to remember, like, what final levels are for a lot of the things at the end of the game. I remember them being pretty difficult and pretty high level, but I don't know if we're on pace for that or if we're behind. So I feel like we're pretty dang close to being on pace at the moment with everything that the game's giving us, but I have no idea for the... the full end game. Even if I lose, Lord Geisha simply has to win. No matter. The only thing you can do is watch Lord Gestus use Kerem to freeze you know it's solid. That's all. You. I'll return this Pokemon to you. Considering what Lord Gestus is about to do, I have no further need of it. You okay, Hugh? Oh, those sound effects are really creepy, isolated by themselves. Hey, Nate, if we let Team Plaza do whatever they want, there'll be more sad Pokemon like Perline and Kiram. Yeah, that makes sense to me, so we won't make that, we won't let that happen. So we should have some more Moo Moo Milk. Do I, do I use Moo Moo Milk? Yes, I do. Perfect. Alright, let me check some other things over here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, 30 Dust Balls, that's good. Uh, 40 Ultra Balls, also good. Okay, cool. Let's leave the Plaza for Gates. This area does look super cool, though. We have to do some more sliding around. But it shouldn't be too hard to get out of. Keyword is too hard to get out of. Uh, may, may, oh, no. No, so this is easy. Ta-da! We need to chase after Gestus now. Colorest basically was the leader of Team Plasma in kind of a status like Eden was. He wasn't necessarily evil. He just wanted to use the resources he had at Team Plasma to kind of further his own agenda. Uh, but of course, in the background, Gestus is like, No! We must conquer the world! And it's like, uh, no, I don't think I want to do that, buddy. Bye. <laughs> That's why I, I like Colress a lot because of that, because that makes him kind of an interesting character, in my opinion. That he wasn't necessarily evil, he was just like, I'm the leader because a friend of mine asked me to. Why his friend was Gestus, I have no idea, but that's what happens. Alright, so we go through this chamber right here, and right behind here should be... Keyword is should. I mean, this is frozen, so I think we're getting close. There's Gestus. The giant chasm. This is the spot where Kirim's power resonates. Here, Kirim can use the full extent of its power and easily cover all of Unova in ice. Kirim, come! Haran to you too, buddy! I have a memory that has continued to haunt me. Just one. That unpleasant look in your eyes reminds me of it. Now that aside, this is my gift to you to show my respect for making it to this far. I'll freeze you solid here so you can watch my glorious ascent. I like that, uh, that staff thing he has. 
Kieram Glaciates. Uh oh. Sir? I am 13 years old. Sir? Sir? Well, I think we're in trouble. Vesuvan! Fusion Flare! So you came. The freak of had a human heart. N. So this is where things get really cool. So the whole reason why this is white too, and why uh, Reshiram is featured sl slightly in the arts of the game, is because the character who comes to our rescue here is N. And N, in white version, got Reshiram. If you were playing black version, you would have gotten Reshiram and N would have gotten Zekrom, in which case N would show up Zekrom here. So it's a nice kind of play for continuity here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know what happened to KV, our trainer from the first game. I, we don't know where he is. But N at least came to save the day because he is still a very, very cool dude. Reshiram told me Kyrm is suffering. I can't allow selfish humans to make Pokemon suffer. And I like you, Nova. It's the place that taught me to how to live as a human. It's the place that made me notice the harmony between Pokemon and humans living together. I will protect the Pokemon and humans who live there. Rishiram's right to throw down. Excellent! That was a moving expression of your determination. So, the education I provided to make you king wasn't a complete waste, then. But I still haven't forgotten that even you, though I was kind enough to find you when you were living in the forest of Pokémon and take you in and care for you, in the end you were selfish and disrupted my plans. I was supposed to use your abilities to rule your Nova. But I'll forgive you for that as well. Reshiram, which you are kind enough to bring with you, can melt ice. Now you save me the work of searching for it. Yeah, I actually kind of forget the reasoning as to how Zekrom, an electric-type Pokémon, was able to deal with ice, but okay. So, I Black 2 is the one I initially played, so I'd have to go and relive this cutscene if I could. Well, actually, I knew you'd appear if we fired ice missiles into Opelucid City, and you'll notice the change. That's an ugly formula. It won't work. Oh, but it will. If I use these... The DNA Splicers! So the thing that we didn't want them to seal, guess this has had the entire time. And, uh, it does not spell good things for us. Because the splicers... Allow Kiram to start to become a whole again. Huh? R Reshiram! Kiram, absorb Reshiram! Use of suffusion!
So remember, Kiram is the dead, is essentially the living original body of Zekrom and Reshiram. And now he is reclaiming what initially belonged to it. Which now means we finally get to see of the darkness that has been plaguing us since the very beginning of the game. That legendary that's on the cover of all these of both these games. Me lights Kiram. A fusion of Kiram and Reshiram's power. And it looks very dangerous. I never would have believed that Pokemon could fuse together. That there was a formula like this. You fool. Last time I was going to use you to capture people's hearts and minds to rule them. But this time I'm simply going to use overwhelming power to rule it with an iron fist. Do you understand? If you had simply become king, you never would have remained beautiful. Come now, trainer. This time, no one will save you. But to make things interesting, I'll give you a chance. Let's see if you can stop this, Kiram. What's this? Your Pokeballs are trembling. Could your Pokemon be shaking with rage? No, that's not possible. Simple tools don't have emotion or thought. Come, challenge Kiram. Just so you know, catching it is impossible. My cane emits signals that disrupt the function of all Pokeballs. Uh, Anne? It's faint, but I can hear my friend. I can hear Reshiram's voice. It says they can be separated again. Please save my friend. And all of you know of us Pokemon and humans. I want to see your face at the moment you lose all hope. A battle to protect new Nova. I prepare the finest stage, and it's a wasted and a bit player like you. Lose and go down in flames. Alright, well here we go. It's time to fight the legendary of Pokemon White 2, White Kiram. By far, the best legendary battle theme in the entire series. Well, 55. So we're going to have to be very careful here. I also like that it has kind of a bit of a green to it, with the red kind of coloring it. That's kind of neat. Alright, so first things first. As Guest has said, just in case you weren't paying attention, if you try to use the Pokeball, it's impossible to use Pokeballs because the device Gestus develops. You cannot catch Kiram whatsoever. You have to fight it. It is just a boss, and that kind of makes it really cool, in my opinion. So let's begin with Dragon Tail. After all, it is part Dragon, right? Fusion Fire is the signature move of Reshiram, and now that he is White Kiram, he can use it as he pleases. Alright, we'll do some good damage there. I want Vivi to get experience, though, so we're going to switch Vivi up before that becomes a problem. Let's go Fennel. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this boss fight can actually be very, very easily cheesed, and I'll see if I can actually do that. <laughs> it, it's kind of sad, because this is, this is a really, like, this entire, the build-up and everything, this is super intimidating. I'd love to see a really good remake that, you know, isn't just a one-for-one -one remake of the Unova games to really go all out on this encounter that I feel like is could be even more intense. 
Ah, uh, yeah, so bag. I want to go to HPPP, and we should have some fresh water. Uh, is that all we need? Now nah, we'll go with the we'll go with the moo milk. Like, ah oh man, this this boss theme is so good. It is easily one of the best battle themes in the Pokemon franchise. The the intense drums backing it, and just oh like the it irradiates this sort of darkness as a song, which I find just really, really cool. So, and now I'm going to actually have be the Fall Guy here, unfortunately. So, I'm going to expect Enel to not survive that. Sorry, Enel. It should be fine, though. So I go back to Vivi. I should be able to one-shot Kirim. Don't quote me on that, though. Because unfortunately, both White Kiram and Black Kiram have one major weakness. Ice Burn? Oh. I don't know what Ice Burn does. Oh, nope, that's- oh, that- okay, I thought- I thought that's how I be, uh, beat uh, Black Kiram, but I guess not. I- like, I forget the typing of uh, the, the Kirams, because it gets so weird, because Kiram is Dragon Ice, uh... Zekrom is Electric Dragon, and uh, Restriam is Dragon Fire. So, like, part of my thought process was, the Kiram becomes Ice, Fire, or Ice, Electric, and Ice, Fire, and Electric are all weak to Ground-type moves. <laughs> so that's why I thought I beat Kiram, but I guess not. So, uh, let's bring out Tora. We've at least gotten a few Intimidates off, which is good. Uh, Ice Burn. I don't- I do not know what that does. That attack is- oh! Oh, dear. Okay, well, it was- it was part ice, so it wasn't very effective. Uh, Flame Charge? Yeah, okay, cool. We have better speed than, uh, Kirim, at least. Alright, alright, we're- we're close. Dragon Breath, okay. That's not good. Uh, Tora? Ah, dang it. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. This is an intense fight. Poppy. Well, let's get, we should hopefully get uh, Vivi and Poppy uh, up to level 50 then through this, yeah? Let's go with a full-on Psychic. There we go! And Kiram fainted. So all you gotta do, you just gotta beat Kiram. Alright, Vivi got level 50 at least. Like, I love how intense that is. I wish it was even more intense. And that's why I'd really like a cool uh, remake that, like, really, really makes that boss fight, like, super intimidating. Kieran and Rushdown were separated. I can't believe it! The white Kieran I went to all the trouble of preparing! How irritating! Now I have to go and recapture Kieran, don't I? But first, I'll take down this disgusting trainer with my own hand. This time, I will succeed. No matter what they try, no one will be able to stop me. Okay, so I think N heal our Pokemon. But now it's finally time to fight Gestus. The crazy leader of Team Plasma. He has a full team of six. And he loves having his little cane thing. Starting off with a Cafagrius. Alright. Okay. Well, luckily, we have a VV to start with, which is great. So we can just go straight for doing a crunch. Yeah. Oh, and definitely heal our Pokemon. Thanks, then. So that was an easy one. Alright, that does change uh, VV's ability, though. So unfortunately, we're not going to get more Intimidates off of VV for right now. But that should be a big problem. Uh, Seismitoad, we will switch, uh, to, but isn't that ground? I think it's ground, uh, I'll take a risk. I think Seismitoad is ground, uh, water. Anyways, there's Seismitoad, it's got stuff on it. 
Okay, Earthquake. Yeah, it's Groundwater. Problem for NL. Doesn't affect size. Until yep, okay. Well, we'll bring out Billy. That's why I brought him with, just for things like this. And Billy can be a shield while we get uh, the health back up on NL. I want to see Zion with Moon Milk. Yeah, we want to use that. And use it on Anel. In the meanwhile, uh, Billy can go and take care of this thing, no problem. Oh, uh, that's a fine type move. Side of Toad's Poison. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Alright, Billy. No, not, not, not the bag again. Ah, uh, right. It's part ground. Okay. Uh, go with the Ice Beam. Alright, that still took quite a bit of damage, okay. The size of might be the biggest problem we have, which is kind of hilarious. I was expecting exactly that kind of move. Alright, well how about we bring out then... Tanrel, kind of an even playing ground then. That drain punch we have to watch out for the most. And the earthquake. Ah, oh, that size of toad is really dangerous. Okay, luckily we got a critical hit on that. I'm gonna go straight to the bag right now, actually. I'm gonna use this on no. Let's see. Do I have anything better? I do have a fuller store. I'm gonna use it on Billy. Okay, and yeah, earthquake's gonna happen again. That's fine. Yeah, sorry, Tanrel. But we'll revive you. We should have a revive on us, I believe. Bring Billy back out. Now, unfortunately, we're not gonna do the revive right now. We need to get rid of this thing before it becomes a major problem. There we go. Because it was going to keep doing the Drain Punch, get health back and whatnot. We don't need that. Alright, now it goes to level seven, uh, 52. 72. Wow, that was quite the jump. Uh, okay, there we go. Ah, Toxic Croak. Okay. We'll keep battling. Toxic Croak is mostly just poison, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, let's see. We do. Oh, we have Max Revive Boss, even. We'll use that. On Tanro. All right, failed. Billy, just take this thing out. Thanks, Billy. All right, and now Billy has served his purpose for right now. A Drapion, a wheel switch. It's part dark, which is the annoying thing, but I think we should be able to do this fine of Tora if we go with the arm thrust. Guess it just has a bunch of nasty Pokemon that are just not fun to fight. Oh, it knows Earthquake too. Of course it does. Alright. Oh, come on, Tora. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that doesn't do a lot of damage. I thought it would. Okay. What? Well, you at least hit a lot. That's good. Uh, I'll bring Billy back. I'm gonna bring Billy back out. Sorry, uh, um, that's kind of why we have Billy here, just to be the safeguard. So I don't want to have to fight Kiram again. I have to go th back through all that stuff and fight guests. Like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff we'd have to go through because we we go back to a Pokemon Center and that'll just be like, oh my gosh, not not the not the most fun thing to have to redo. <laughs> okay, trapheon has gone. Billy grew level 75, good for Billy. Tor got some... Okay, uh, Hydreigon. We'll switch Pokemon. We're gonna go to Tanrel for this one. Hydreigon is Dark Dragon. It is by far one of the most dangerous Pokemon in the Unova region, I think. Uh, 
And we're just gonna go with the Ice Beam. Dragon Rush, ooh. Very powerful attack. It loses some of the HP for doing that, though, so... That's good for us. Oh my god, seriously? Okay. Um, yeah, let's switch to Vivi and see what happens there. Because Vivi at least has uh, Dragon Tail. Which could be useful. And we can get the Intimidate back off because the mummy is gone. Crunch. Okay. That shouldn't be bad on Vivi. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yep. And lost some of its HP. Why? I don't know, actually. Okay, Dragon Rush. That's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, perfect. Oh, seriously? Dang it. Okay. Well, let us get back onto the Restoration Train. This is on Vivi. Oh, of course Guesses would do that too. You know, because he's just such a swell guy. So, let's hope that we can survive this part. Because if we can get this Dragon Tail off, that should do it decent amount of damage. Nice, Vivi. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, cool. And we swapped out to his other Pokemon. Oh, you have this stupid thing. Oh, I hate you. Of course he has the Electros. Okay. Um, well, that thing has Levitate, which is annoying. Wow. Go for a Crunch. Okay, decent, decent damage. And no flamethrower for some reason. Oh yeah, I guess I haven't counted on the music of this, but it's kind of just, it's just a, well, we're not going to hear it now. But the guess this uh, battle music is kind of just more of a take on the battle theme he had in the first game. It's not as impressive, I think, as the Black Kyrum, White Kyrum battle theme. I think that's much more interesting. We will switch. Uh, we're gonna switch to Poppy, which is not the best choice because it is Dark Dragon. I did not think that part through, but we're gonna heal uh, Tanrel up. Bag. Use that Lumo Milk. We're gonna use that on Tanrel. Okay, Crunch. Can v Can Poppy survive this? No. Sorry, Poppy. Okay, so I don't think it has... I think it has an item on that, like, is upping its attack that's also uh, damaging it as it goes, so that makes... that kind of makes sense then. What's this? This is nothing like I expected. Alright, so I am going to take a risk here. I want Poppy to get some experience, so we're going to use the revive. Tanner avoid the attack. Nice. All right, Ice Beam. Tamar Void the Attack. Wow, that Dragon Rush must not be a very accurate move. Oh my gosh. Okay. They okay. They they finally got it off. Uh, Tanrel, Tanrel. Yes. And it fainted because it did that. <laughs> All right, and you level fifty-one. And Poppy got some experience. Great. Could it be? My plans for do completing world domination are foiled again? No, it mustn't be! I could have been defeated by some random traitor again! How can this be? I'm the creator of Team Plasma! I'm perfect! I'm the absolute ruler who will change the world! And I've lost to some unknown trainer not once, but twice? I can't accept this. This isn't possible. I can't be bested by fools who can't even use Pokemon correctly. It's hard to call you this, but... Father, please understand. Pokemon are not tools. Pokemon and humans take each other to greater heights. They are wonderful partners. Some humans understand this. Why can't you? Shut your mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't 
talk like a person, you freak. No real person can talk to Pokemon. Lord Gestus has lost control. We'll take it from here. Okay. Without father, Team Plasma is... Farewell. I love the staff behind. On behalf of everyone, thank you. Kieran is fine. Now it has lost its power, but it will come here again. Rushuan says thank you as well. That's right, I can talk with Pokemon. On that day two years ago, KV and Alder taught me something. By accepting different ideas, this world creates a chemical reaction. So I met many different Pokemon and people and heard so much. And that's how my world quietly grew bigger. By being a Pokemon, humans can continue toward new horizons. By being with humans, Pokemon can exhibit their true power. That's what Reshiram taught me, the truth for Pokemon and me. And someday both our truth and ideals will come together. Then Pokemon and humans will be free from the oppression of Pokeballs. You! What are you and your Pokemon striving for? You should head to the Pokemon League to put your truths to the test. Team Plaza's ship flew away. Is it over? I see. So it's finally over. More importantly, you rescued Kieran from Team Plasma, right? You're really something. I'm... gonna make sure Perlin gets back to my sister. Seal can't take it out of its Pokeball yet, though. What are you going to do? He said to go to the Pokemon League. That's a good idea. I mean, you're now the strongest in Unova, right? Go prove it! Do you remember where we first met up in the giant chasm? If you follow the path from there, it goes on to Route 23. Victory Road and the Pokemon League are just past there. Alright, and with that said, this has been a fairly long episode, so we're going to end it off right here. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe is all great. Don't have to, you don't want to, but I appreciate all the same. Pokemon White Version 2 and Black Version 2, along with their prequels, are available on the Nintendo DS family of systems, and can be played on the 3DS, but unfortunately, both those systems are no longer in distribution uh, from, like, you know the main source. Second hand, obviously. But if you get a chance to play these games, again, highly recommend it, as they are my personal favorite in the Pokemon franchise. Most importantly, though, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all on the next one. Until then, ciao!